right, guys, today we're going to introduce you to the 12 minute workout. Katie, are they ready for it? I'm not. Hi right, guys, I'm Alan Branch, Project 49. Today I got my buddy Katie here, and we're going to introduce you to our specialized 12 minute workout. So here's the deal. Guys, the way most people are working out is not getting them the results that they want, and there's a couple of reasons. One, it's focused too much on calorie burning instead of building lean muscle mass. What that does is cause frustration because they don't see results from all the hard work. So what we're doing in the 12 minute workout, we're slowing things down, we're doing focused, deliberate strength training that is going to raise the heart rate and kick it up. So Katie, do you think, what do you think the average amount of time that a person who goes to the gym or does an exercise video, how long do you think their workout is? Probably 35 to 45 minutes. Okay, good. So if we're able to cut your time into a third, get you better results and have you not, your joints don't hurt, you don't have any aches and pains, you're not so sore you can't move, and you actually see great results from the program, then that's what the 12 minute workout is for. So today, day one, 12 minute workout, Katie and I are gonna get in the gym, get the job done, and let you follow along. Okay guys, what's up? I'm here with Katie, and we're going to demonstrate the 12 minute workout for you, and I want you to understand something that it's broken down into a three day cycle. So this is day one. You'll have a day one, a day two, and a day three, and you'll do those the first three days of your week and then repeat them the next three for a six day workout at 12 minutes a day. And of course on the seventh day, you will rest. So we've already warmed up. We're gonna jump right to work. So Katie, if you would grab uh, the heavier dumbbells. So guys, if you're just starting out, uh, you'll wanna try this without any weight. At any time, Katie's smart enough to know if she needs to put them down or switch to something lighter. So put them down for one second, Katie, while we talk about them. All right, so basically, guys, here's the rep scheme for most exercises. And something that's very important, watching the video is not the workout. So even if this seems simple, you got to get up and do it because it's not simple. It's extremely effective, but it's going to be a little different than what you're used to doing. So Katie, to give you an idea, you're going to get in a split squat position. Guys, the reason I use the term split squat is that lunging seems to connotate some sort of lean, like I'm leaning, lunging towards something. Well, that makes people tend to lunge forward when they do their, uh, their exercise. Instead, we're going to focus on the rear knee, the body straight, and we're focusing on the rear knee going straight down so we get all the work in the quads and the glutes and not any on the back, okay? So that's why we use the term split squat more commonly referred to as a lunge. So Katie, go ahead and bring them up. Now typically guys, you'll see routines where they'll say do three sets of 12, four sets of eight, whatever, okay. We're gonna do three reps, okay? Three reps slow, followed by 15 or failure, whichever comes first. So here's what we're gonna do. Katie, when I start counting, you're gonna be going down to a 10 count. 10, nine, slower, eight, seven. So she's got a five, she went a little fast, four, Three, stay. Now she's gonna stay for 10 seconds. Now she went down a little bit quick. So next time I'm gonna coach her to go a little slower coming down. Four, three, and now it's 10 seconds coming up. Super slow, eight, seven, there we go. Six, slow, five, four, three, two. There's one, and down slow without locking the legs. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Hold. Now Katie's able to go a little deeper. Some people will need to pull off of that and not go as deep, especially if they have a knee issue. Five, four, three, no, no, no. Now we're coming up. Now we're coming up. Ten, nine, there we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and down and head up and chest out. Nine, eight. So she's easing her way down. Seven, six, five, four, three and hold. I need her to think about the muscles that she's training. We're almost done with our three reps. Five, four, three, super slow. She's gonna crawl out of there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and then go right into 15 reps. Down one and up one. Here we go, 15, 14, not too fast. We're not bouncing out of the bottom. Everything is slow and controlled. Now, if she's got access to weights and it's not hard enough, she could go up. 
She doesn't have any weight. She starts out with nothing. You could add anything. It could be done with a band. Uh, whatever resistance that you have will work for what we're doing. Most people with no resistance at all are fried at the end of a set. How many we got, buddy? Five more. Five more? Four. Heart rate's coming up. Legs getting a little shaky. At this point, she should be reaching close to failure. And we're just at the two-minute mark of exercise. Time and sit those down. Now we've got to let that tra that leg, uh, the other leg, recover because your trail leg was working too. There wasn't any momentum, so we weren't bouncing in and out of this stuff. The whole lower body's feeling that left leg. Now we're going to go to push up position. Ooh. Straight to the ground. Okay, and okay, guys. So extremely tough. One set, chest press going down. Ten, nine. Eight, gives up a little bit, seven, six, five, four, three. She holds it there, and she went to her knees, which is fine. Seven, six, five, four, three, and crawling out slow. You'll notice the farther you get to the top, the stronger you are. The end range is the stronger range of motion, and down. Ten, nine, hips up a little bit, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold. So the three reps should take you right at 90 seconds. At the end of the 90 seconds, we do 15 reps or about 30 seconds additional to be sure you're all coming up slow, to be sure you're finished. You may be done at the end of the 90 and have no reps left, and that's okay. And last rep down, nine, eight, you gotta count, seven, six, okay. Guys, resist the urge to go fast, resist the urge to kick yourself up to cheat your way through a finished rep. The goal is completion or failure, momentary muscle failure, not to see how good you are at push-ups. Where we at, buddy? Coming up, coming up. Now she's done. She's got to get 15 reps if she's got them. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> now, still not too fast because the numbers that we give you are only calculated guesses. If the intensity level is hard enough, you should be wiped out at two minute mark. If you can do this for four minutes, it's not heavy enough. But if you're done in 20 seconds, it's too heavy. So we use that two minute marker as a gauge, generally between 90 seconds and two minutes to failure. How are we feeling? That's good. Done. Whew. Okay, up, time to go to the other leg, four minutes down. And I'm full on sweating. Yep, and how's the heart rate? Woo, it's up there. Good, so here we go. Now we gotta get the other leg. Okay, Katie, I'm gonna go ahead and set a clock that you can see. Okay. So I can talk while you're going. All right. Okay? So she's gonna get her, got her clock. She's gonna go 10 counts down. Pause for 10, 10 counts up. Day one. Day one is a push day. Okay? Our pushing muscles are trained on day one. Guys, lots of different ways to enhance intensity of a workout at home. Dumbbells are relatively inexpensive. Bands are very inexpensive. Body weight costs nothing. So if you have zero equipment and you do this exercise slow and controlled for 90 seconds to two minutes, it doesn't matter who you are, you're gonna be feeling it. Katie is uh, well trained. Uh, she's been at this for a while, so I wanted her to see what the challenge would be like if we went with a decent size weight. She's got 25s. Katie, in a normal situation, how much could you lunge, how much weight would you use in a lunge going regular speed? 35. 35, so 10 pounds heavier. So guys, you can get away with using a weight that's uh, quite a bit lighter by slowing things down. And that is one of the most common things you can do to enhance intensity of any exercise. Slow down. Where are we at? Whew. I'm holding on my last rep. Okay, so we're finishing three. Real slow out of the bottom. And when she gets there without locking the legs, she's gonna go right back into her set. And one thing's important, guys. If you're in the middle of a lunge, nice and slow, and you give out, just go down. Just go down. Just go down on the other knee. Let the weight sit down. Don't drop them on yourself. Just go down when you reach failure. Now, that could be done with a band, okay? If I've got a circular power band, I may stand on the band and do it. How you feel, buddy? Okay, good. I may be able to lunge down and grab the band this way and do it. 
Lots of creative ways that you can uh, add the resistance in. Okay, now we're going to go to shoulder press. And I'm going to let you start with this one. We're going to do a band. It could also be the dumbbells, guys. Uh, it could be whatever you have. But the process is to follow the push sequence to failure. If you reach failure, you did the job. Could you turn a little bit so you can see the clock? Yeah. Okay. So she's going to sit down and bring that band up into a press position. Guys, important that the, the hands are shoulder width apart. We get in here, we start getting into triceps. We want to keep the hands at shoulder width apart. She's going to start her 10 second press. You can start right there on the nine. And here we go. So super slow up, 10 up, 10 down. She's going to hold the 10 down right in front of her nose uh, when she finishes. So you can come down at 10. Okay, come down and, at 10 and then hold mm -hmm, it. And then hold it right in front of the nose. Not down here in the rest position, but up in front of the nose with the, the shoulders engaged. Okay, so she's got it going now with the band press. Could be dumbbell press. Could be uh, soup can press, book press. Especially if you're newer and haven't been doing anything, man, it's not going to take much weight, especially after that push-up set to failure. The shoulders aren't going to have as much gas as they normally would. How are we feeling? Good. We're holding at the end of one, right? Mm -hmm. This okay. is two. Two, okay. Yep. Everything is slow and controlled. And let's give an idea. Let's say that Katie has access to this band, a little, a little band, and that's it. And she needs a little more resistance. A little two pound dumbbell combined with the band, grabbing the band and the dumbbell together is significantly difficult. To any extra idea of resistance that you could add on will help a lot, especially as you get stronger. Finishing? Yeah, I got four seconds and I'm repping it out. Okay. And here she goes. And there is a tendency, I'd have you slow down just a little teeny bit. And she might not make all 15. But guys, I don't want you to pause. Like I want you to continuously go until there's zero left. And now she's getting into a diminishing range. Slow that down and just push and hold. Push and hold. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. And it's done. So the shoulders are now done. And she moves on to the uh, front squat. So I'm going to let her use the dumbbells or the band. Your pick. I'll use this band. Okay, so we went up a little bit in the band. She could have used her dumbbells, could have used uh, whatever resistance, or could do body weight. Go ahead and get set. Okay, so Katie chose a front squat position with the band, which is what I prefer. You could also hold it here. Some people put it on their neck. I don't really like that a lot, especially with this size band. Uh, you got your clock spotted. Yep. Okay, and here we go. Now, it seems simple, guys. But these basic exercises are the ones that are going to recruit the most muscle fibers. And by slowing things down, we are increasing the time under tension that the muscle is working. Very nice. You held your bottom? Yep. Okay, or good. no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. You forgot. So. Okay, so she's down. Stay. Perfect position. So look, we got the bottom back. We've got the knees in line with the toes. We've got the back as straight as we can and the head looking forward. Now, you may only be able to squat this far. That's okay. We'll go as far as we can get. We'll just go nice and slow as we do it. As you get stronger, that range of motion may improve. And that would be, of course, the goal. So now that's one official rep, right? Yep. So with each one running two minutes and six exercises, we run a 12-minute routine. Even the most advanced person would not need to do this more than twice, which would be 24 minutes. Most of the clients that I have, actually, I'll tell you this right now, all of my existing clients who have gotten total body transformations in just a matter of weeks, all are only on one cycle. There's no reason to do two. Uh, rep number three. Three. Okay. Now, think about this, guys. While Katie's holding this, a typical exercise routine, the person's going up, down, up, down, up, down for a set and then they rest. Well, during that rest is a break that we don't need. We've taken all the rest time out and our goal is single-minded, focusing on muscle fatigue. We need to create a stimulus to the nervous system that says, Katie, legs aren't strong enough, we've got to get stronger. And that's what we're after. Uh, now you'll notice as Katie getting tired, she's starting to lock the legs at the top. If we don't lock the legs, stop a little shy. The legs are shaking pretty good. Stop early. Mm -hmm. See the enhanced shaking? Now down. What rep? We oh, done? That was it. Okay, good. And we're done Ooh. with the front squat. So, so far we've had two.
two lower body, uh, two upper body exercises. So now we're going to go to a dip. And one thing, uh, guys, you can use any, anything that you have, a coffee table, two chairs. A step. Uh, a, what? A step. A, a step. Uh, a tricep dip is pretty easy to mimic, maybe other than body weight, uh, like a push-up and a squat, the simplest thing. Go ahead and have a seat, Katie. And uh, I need you to think about something. This is going to be amplified dramatically with the slowdown in time. So go ahead and slide off. And she's got her bottom relatively close to the bench. Harder version, legs are straight. Easier version, legs are bent. Hardest version, she could elevate her legs on a stability ball or on another chair. One foot up. Or one foot up, right. So here she goes, you got your clock, and down. Now, the shoulders are fatigued. The chest is fatigued. The legs are fatigued. We're just targeting the triceps. Uh, it's not going to take very long because the other muscles are already given out. So if you don't last as long, it's okay. We went from larger muscle groups descending. Now, if she gets in trouble, just have a seat. Go ahead and stop. No impingement of the shoulder. Uh, we don't fight through anything. We don't rock. We don't kip the body up. We don't cheat at all. Everything is slow, deliberate, and focused because here's what we're after. Increase of lean muscle mass. If we increase lean muscle mass, her heart rate is up, guys. If you increase the lean muscle mass, you are burning more calories when you're not working out. That is the trick. Not working out more so that you can try to burn a few extra calories. Do the right kind of workout so the metabolism is faster when you're not here. Where are we at? Uh, this is my third hold. Okay. And she's coming up. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have 15 reps. Ooh. All right. I'm going to bend the knees a little bit. So day one, split squat left is first. Push up, split squat right, shoulder press, front squat, tricep dip, Ooh. and time. So all muscles have been hit. Couple of things we could have done. Job, Katie. Woo. Couple of things we could have done. She could have went up in weights, possibly. Uh, she could have allowed a little bit less rest time because I was busy talking. Uh, or she could increase the intensity by adding uh, more weight to each exercise. Her uh, push up, we could put a little plate on her back. There's little things that you can do, but for most people, that's going to be a rough 12 minutes. So, overall, as somebody who normally works out 45 minutes to an hour, how do you feel at the end of 12 minutes? tough. You're shaky. You're fatigued. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay. So guys, understand the goal. The goal is not how sweaty I am. What do I see on my little watch? The goal is the stimulus that we're trying to apply to your body. If a stimulus is applied to the physiology and there is a physiological change, that is a true workout. So our focus on day one is on pushing muscles and that is your first 12 minute workout. Hey guys, I'm Alan Branch from Project 49. Listen, if you like our content, please leave a comment below. Even if you don't agree with us, we'd love to interact with you. Also, subscribe to our channel. Great content coming out, targeted for people over 40 who want increased longevity and lifespan due to the proper training and lifestyle. Hey, we'll see you next time here at Project 49.